converting between fractions and recurring decimals on the old and the new style Casio calculators. Convert 3 elevenths to a recurring decimal. Okay, so I can just use the fraction key on the old calculator to type in the fraction. So I press the numerator and then the fraction key and then 11 and that's going to give me 3 elevenths. If I press equals down there, pressing the symbolic to decimal key up here, you can see it immediately turns it into a recurring decimal which is 0.27 with a dot on the 2 and a dot on the 7. Now if you want to see that in expanded form, if I press the symbolic to decimal button again, you can see then it writes it down to 0 0.27272727, so you can see the pattern of the number as well. Over on the newer Casio calculator, same thing, I'm going to press the 3, I'm going to press the fraction key, and then I'm going to type in the 11, I'm going to press execute so it appears on the bottom right of the screen. Now if I want it as a recurring decimal, I need to press the format key and I'm going to go down to the recurring decimal option on the screen and press OK. And you can see it again, that's writing it as 0.27 with a dot on the 2 and a dot on the 7. If I want it in the expanded form, I'm going to press the format key and then select decimal instead. And you can see there it's going to show me the full expanded version of the number. Going back the other way, if I've got 2.1 with a dot on the top of it and I want to convert that into a fraction on the old calculator, I'm going to press the 2 first and then the decimal place. Now I need some way to be able to put that dot in above the 1 and you can see above the X squared button I've got a little box with a dot on the top of it. Now that's the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to press the shift key to access it and then the X squared button and you can see I get a little box with a dot on the top of it already. I can type in the one and then press equals. Straight away, the calculator converts that into an improper fraction of 19 over nine. If I want it as a mixed number, I'm gonna press the shift key and then the symbolic to decimal button and you can see it's gonna rewrite it for me as two and one ninth. Over on the new Casio calculator, I'm gonna press the two first and then the decimal point. You can see the square with a little dot on it, again, is above the square button on the calculator. So I'm gonna press the shift key to access it I'm going to type in the one and then I'm going to press the execute button. That gives it as a mixed number straight away, two and one ninth. If I want it as an improper fraction, I'm going to press the format key and select that from the option list, 19 over 9. Subscribe to Mr. Tomkins EdTech for more useful calculator videos.